Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 28th. Oh my goodness, it's the end of a month. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. New moon, September 2nd on Monday on Labor Day. So you won't be seeing any moon when you're taking a, a walk in the evening on Labor Day. Oh, the day before, the day before. Uh, the sun is pretty active still. This is the shoot the earth uh, quadrant. Uh, of the sun, so nothing right now is doing anything big, but uh, there have been aurora even without big eruptions, <coughs> largely due to the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. Looking at drought conditions, we do have a lessening of extreme drought, but an expansion of severe drought uh, in our region. This is about the worst there is in the state, is Longmont down to Denver, so interesting. Uh, it's not horrible yet, and it's not huge in extent, and much of the state is drought-free, but uh, with a stretch of dry, hot weather coming up, we do need to be watching out for fire weather again. So, don't start fires. Looking nationally, not much of a change, a little drying in the plains. <coughs> so, it's kind of surprising to me because there's a lot of moisture out there, but we'll see. Looking at smoke, I did not do an animation this time because it's kind of boring. Some smoke sources uh, up here in Idaho, and they're traveling right along the northern Colorado border. A little bit of smoke's coming down here, but the morning, this morning, the uh, Rockies look pretty clear, pretty nice, and it's this lightest gray color. Looking for precipitation, really dry along the Front Range, higher elevations southwest and way out on the eastern plains. Got more significant water over the last seven days. I'm glad we got this plot back. It just well, They just change things every now and then. All right, let's, we have a few more weeks of looking at possible severe weather and the climatology of it. And you can see it peaks right about there in the end of June. Starts to decrease into August. And then the second week of September, we're right on the boundary of um, expected severe weather. Yeah, of course, it's possible year-round, but it's becoming very unlikely now. But there were some severe thunderstorm warnings out on the eastern plains just in the last couple days. Looking at actual uh, convective outlook, severe weather potential, it's shifting north. That's what happens later in the summer. Heads up into the northern states and up into Canada. Yeah, there are tornado chasers in Canada. A little bit here through the uh, Midwest and east. For Thursday, convection-free. Again, we had, had no convection on Wednesday, but a thunderstorm did pop up Wednesday night. That was weird. Um, <coughs> south of Longmont and kind of moving to the northeast. It can happen, but very isolated, weird stuff. For Thursday, still up upper northern Midwest Plains, up the Great Lakes area, Ohio Valley. Uh, for <coughs> Friday, and then a little bit sneaks up here the southern mountains on Friday. Looking at the surface uh, system, we got high pressure over us. There's a front up here and a front draped across the northern plains. There's our severe weather ahead of this low. Uh, is that, there should be a low there, but they didn't draw it. Here's our severe weather and flooding rains possible up here. The front is coming down on Thursday. That'll shave four or five degrees off the temperatures. Give us a little north wind. Uh, so in Friday, uh, Thursday it's draped across, and then Friday it's pushed south into New Mexico. A little cooler, a little drier, but that'll warm up very quickly after that. Our temperatures in the expected are dropping pretty quickly from 85 to 82. Nighttime lows from 55 to 51. So we are really starting to drop now. It may not feel like it's um, cooling off out there, and it really isn't yet. But it's going to be really hard soon to be hitting 90. So give it a few weeks and it, we probably will be done with them. For precipitation, really dry all the way through the 4th or so, 5th of September. And after that, it's still kind of spotty. Wednesday night, we had some moisture still in the atmosphere. I guess that's what allowed that little thunderstorm to kick off south of Longmont. But that's moving out pretty fast. So putting this in motion, there's no systems to really focus on, so I don't have stills from this. We'll just let it play. Here's our ridge out west. We have north flow here, northwest flow. The high center comes right over us uh, by the end of the weekend. There's the ridge right over Colorado. Yeah, 
and then southwest flow starts kicking in by Tuesday, Wednesday. Really dry desert southwest air. A little trough going along the Canadian border, low up there. Then the ridge reestablishes itself at the high center over Nevada and all the, up and down the west coast. I guess we should look for some fires to start popping again out there. Northwest flow can surprise us by next weekend if a little moisture can get in. For temperatures, we do have this bubble of cool air coming down. There's the front. Uh, into Friday, we got cooler than normal temperatures east of the Rockies. By Saturday, it's pushed away and the heat starts building again. Another front slips by but doesn't seem to make it back to the mountains. You know, the plains and Texas get cooled down, but Colorado does not. There was afternoon thunderstorms by Tuesday. There's southern mountains by Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. <coughs> and maybe another front pushing down at the end of next week. For atmospheric moisture, this trough up here is pushing dry air in. This becomes a big line of thunderstorms to our distant southeast. Little, very little moisture lingers. The state really dries out for the weekend all the way down into New Mexico. There to Monday, some moisture is coming back. The monsoon seems to be taking a break though. That isn't very significant. And it kind of washes out by Thursday. Friday, there's a, another front sweeping down in the plains. Again, surface dew points very low. We start out here in 50s, but then it drops back down to the 40s and 30s. You know, even 20s kind of pushing out. So through the weekend, very dry, uh, rapidly warming up. Not a lot in the way of even cloud cover. It's just going to be kind of hot and dry. There's 30 dew points by early middle next week. 40s, 30s again. Yeah, just too dry for a lot of storm activity to occur. So we'll see what the model gives us for convection for Wednesday into Thursday. <coughs> dry, dry, dry. Yep. There's Saturday. Nothing even in adjacent states. Sunday, same thing. Little west coast there, little thunderstorm popping up late Saturday, uh, Sunday night, and then on the Monday, western slopes. There's a higher elevation and maybe nearby on Wednesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday. Wednesday looks dry. Southern mountains on Thursday. Friday, still pretty dry. Yeah, just, <laughs> this is not much to talk about. And if you add up the next five days, that is what we see. Very little in most of Colorado. For the next 10 days, the mountains get a little bit, especially the southern mountains, not much. So summer is not giving up yet, that is the case. So Wednesday, 90s, cool off that little front into Thursday, Friday. Saturday, the heat is right back, just giving it goose eggs for storm chances until a little bit Monday and Tuesday. A little cool down Monday, and then the heat comes back on Tuesday. September is a couple days away, so the Weather Service is giving us above normal monthly temperatures for September, below normal precipitation. Just not good news, but we'll see what happens. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.